Okay, here's some uh, real time uh, going on with the PV panels and the new MPPT charge controller. Far better, you see, even uh, with a very overcast morning here, we're still generating just north of 100 watts in heavy, heavy cloud cover. So this is something <clears throat> that I could expect to see on rainy days in the winter. That's what I would probably be generating, about one quarter of, uh, of uh, what could be generated. So that would be correct. That's a number that, that I had anticipated and I thought would peak out at a uh, different number. So anyway, you probably hear the generator in the background going on and off. That's how I'm having to uh, run both the refrigerators right now. Not a problem. Just, you know, the price of fuel now is just ridiculous because it's $5 a gallon here in Oakland. And so uh, <clears throat> that, uh, that $5, you know, kind of hurts on the pocketbook here after a while. But anyway, that's neither here nor we're there we just got to keep on plugging away eventually we're going to get this resolved uh, replacement panel is probably about uh, 30 days out at this point uh, was really frustrated with uh, Amazon and you know, you know, got to do this the uh, snail mail way or snail route so uh, anyway I'll, I'll be uh, receiving two more PV panels here shortly so we'll definitely get up to the 600 watts uh, for sure, where we should should have been uh, moving on to 800 watt system. So, but anyway, what's what's happened uh, has happened, and what's good, I'm going to cycle through here, so you can see. Yeah, uh, it's doing pretty good that's the battery right now it's at 14 and a half volts and has an input of 7.7 .7 amps coming into the battery so that's a nice uh, charge on there it's not too heavy not too light uh, especially on an industrial size battery so that says that the uh, battery is uh, fully charged and that's with the solar system Okay, sunlight has come out, come up, and as you see, PV volts have dropped from a high of 40 down to about 32, 33 on average, but the wattage has gone up. And what I did was uh, I unplugged the refrigerator and the freezer and plugged it into the inverter and so right now I'm looking at uh, the MPPT controller it went from a floating voltage which was just maintaining the battery because the battery was fully uh, charged now with the uh, refrigerator attached there's a demand for more power and so now it's providing that and it's allowing the PV panels and the circuitry inside here to do the work that it was uh, designed to do. So it's doing really well. We're going to see how long uh, we can uh, uh, keep this plugged in and, and still maintain uh, at least 12 and a half volts. So we'll be back. 